Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to properly delete an app from Microsoft Teams. Uh, first, maybe before I explain how to uh, remove the app from Teams, uh, I want to explain to you how to add one. Um, let's say I have um, this team right here. You can add uh, an app uh, to any, uh, you know, to any team, to any channel you have. So in my case, I want to add, let's say, one of the apps uh, to this general channel. You just hit the plus tab. And of course, you have a bunch of apps uh, that are offered to you uh, right away. But uh, you can always click more apps and pretty much browse uh, through the different apps. So uh, for example, I want to uh, install the Asana, all right, which is a project management tool. You just search for it and you know click on it and go through the installation process now i already have completed this step all right so uh, my app is installed so what we will do now uh, is uninstall it uh, let me show you how to do that so if you navigate to the list of apps by uh, sometimes you might see the apps right appearing on the left uh, sidebar but uh, maybe you pinned it uh, to the sidebar but in my case if you click this three dots i see a list of apps all right, and uh, all you need to do is just right click and say uninstall. That's all. All right, it will uh, give you a confirmation message. Uh, yep, we that's exactly what we want to do. And uh, pretty much the application is gone. There, uh, you see it doesn't appear anymore in my uh, panel over here. Now, sometimes what I noticed uh, is that when you uninstall an app, all right, just like we did, uh, and uh, if you maybe remove the connector and everything from a given, uh, you know, channel, all right, it doesn't quite remove the uh, application completely. Uh, for example, I have this, I installed this uh, Click, ClickUp uh, integration, all right, it's a connector with a ClickUp um, uh, application, third-party application. And even though I removed it, uh, you see what happened was uh, it still left it in my uh, compose, uh, you know, box over here. You see where I type in all the text messages and all that stuff, right? In this area, uh, I guess it's called compose box. And what we can do here is you see it left a, a trace of it over here. Uh, even though I uninstalled it, uh, we need to remove this uh, option from here. You just right click, uninstall. All right, and essentially it just gives you a confirmation message that uh, from now on, um, you know, ClickUp will not appear in my Compose box. Yeah, let's make it happen, uninstall, and you see it's gone, all right? So just an extra tip in case if you installed a bunch of apps and they do appear here, even though you uninstall them, uh, you can actually take care of uh, them right here as well. Uh, and by the way, uh, in case if you, uh, you know, want to leave the application in place, uh, all right, just want to clean up your uh, compose box, if you will. Uh, you can just, you know, manually uninstall it from here, but leave the application in place. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, quick and easy tutorial. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.